We've just started getting into that. We've got one one of our bigger yurts at a restaurant in Traverse City. That's a bar, and they do. They've got a lot of food trucks in the parking lot in the summer. Well, in the winter, the parking lot is empty, so they put up a a yurt last uh, a few years ago that they did music events and different type of events that was very successful. And then with COVID, we ran into the issue of the restaurant closed down, right? And one of the one of the ways to get around that was to have private dining areas and the igloos we saw a lot of you know even before covid were started just to make good use of this outdoor space that in the winter normally sits empty um so i have a good friend of mine um jason and susie povich they own the grateful crow in chelsea michigan a new restaurant they actually opened amidst of covid trying to figure it all out. And um, they contacted me about doing some smaller private dining yurts to fit with the COVID regulations. And uh, so we've got, we've got their patio with, I believe there's six yurts over there now. They are, they're smaller than what we normally do. They're a little different than our normal yurt. What we normally do, they're a lot smaller and just a little bit of the design. Our normal yurts have full doors, um, these ones are basic like flap doors, but they do have heat in them and they, they've they been great for the restaurant from my understanding. They've made a huge difference when you couldn't really do anything before besides takeout. Now they can actually provide a space. And even when COVID isn't an issue, if you've got a successful restaurant and a full dining room, you could always use extra space. 